bite it. <laughs> so, so Chris Hansen is a vampire. We've established <laughs> that. <laughs> I invite him in. That, that's oh, no, don't shoot me, bam! All the, all those predators made the mistake. Should yeah. Never have invited him in. Oh yeah, I know, <laughs> folks. It's Sunday afternoon. Welcome aboard to the Margu campaign, the tri generational campaign here at Murder Hobo. Thanks for joining us. If this is your first time, hang on because these guys are in a lot of trouble. They have a big decision to make tonight. Uh, we'll see what they do. They, Odds are they'll they'll screw it up, and make the wrong decision. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D and D, join our Discord. If you want to buy stuff like a duvet cover or a phone case or a throw pillow, check out our shop. Uh, most importantly, if you want to be on a one shot like next Saturday or on the talk shows every Tuesday, M Hobo Inc. Twitter or Gmail. I think we've got two brand new hobos for next Saturday. Not sure yet. Uh, should be interesting, and two of these guys, maybe I don't know, it's hard to say. Uh, they wanted to be on last time, but couldn't we couldn't get it done because we had too many newbies, uh, and that's okay, uh, because we gotta spread the wealth. Uh, don't forget to check out our sponsors, Pirate Dog Dice, for dice rolls that don't suck, and of course, if your game stinks, unlike ours, oddfishgames.com, Adventure Sense. It'll make your game smell a whole lot better. And they also do the shine system if you want to learn how to write much more gooder than me. Coming soon, uh, how to RPG with your cat Kickstarter. Uh, so check them out, oddfishgames.com. Uh, like I said, this is the tri-generational Margu campaign. Let's go ahead and introduce you to the people who are going to occupy your time for the next two hours. We will start with the senior statesman of the group. Uh, Frank, who are you? Who do you play? I am. Go Frank. ahead and mute yours, please. Oh. I'm not muted, am I? Mm -mm. Okay. I am Frank, uh, the old man, <coughs> eldest of the group, <coughs> a fine, fine druid slash cleric, always on the upbeat, good attitude, love life. I, it, blink twice if you're being held. Because <laughs> I don't recognize that person. Uh, next up is the youngest member of the group. Uh, little Frankie, who are you? Because we only see Man Fanglish, uh, and we can always fill in that gap. Oh, I can screw it up. I am Man Fang. The most diplomatic of the group. I have bread ideas, sometimes better than anybody, Stephen Hawking. Um, I have a giant axe. It's absolutely huge. It's ginormous. <laughs> the best axe you'll ever see. <laughs> I have small hands and poison and acid resistance. That you almost never, ever use. Yep. And you've got a giant scar. Yeah, I do have that as well. It's kind of right here. Not here or here, but kind of right here. Right, right here. AJ, you are up next. Who are you? Who do you play? I'm AJ, and I'm playing Felix the Great, the human rogue drunken gambler that is currently not gambling because of the spell that we're under. But uh, in other notes, we hope to be getting some uh, avatars coming soon. And we discussed what my character looks like, so I'm hoping that that'll come to fruition, Jason. Uh, great segue, Jason. You're up next. Uh, Copious Wolf Bitters the third, the gnomish witch, brewmeister, entrepreneur, and great disappointment to his grandmother, uh, Nana Wolf Bitters, uh, and and potentially the producer. By the way, we intro the show today. <laughs> no reason. She's used to it. <laughs> She's used to it at this point. And now that our last member has full mouth, Frank, who are you? Who are you playing? Daddy. <laughs> I'm Robert Elvis Presley. Uh, Zeppelin. I'm a uh, robust, genuine, real thing uh, bard who likes to burn all and kill all. That's it. Let's keep it short. We're keeping it short. Uh, the last member of the group, uh, 
cannot make it. He is under the weather. His name is Haggis Crapstein, and that is all you ever need to know about him. Uh, as Robert has alluded to, he is the real deal. He is also the real reason this group is stuck in creepy uh, corpus keep hunting down a jewel because he had lycanthropy and had to be cured rather than slain for the holiness of the shining moon. Uh, his party voluntarily accepted a geese gaze quest uh, to go find a missing jewel they have gone and located after trials and tribulations, uh, the shattered corpus keep caught in the uh, deep chasm of the mountains uh, in the land of the halflings. They have gone ahead and investigated most of it uh, and with great trepidation are at the bottom of the level where the old gatehouse still stands. It is the only area other than the stables that they have not investigated. However, they are low on hit points, low on spell slots, low on morale, and pretty much low on gambling and gold. Uh, they are also under a time crunch, and this is the end of day three, is it not, gentlemen? Yeah. Day four? I have day four in my notes. Okay. End I mean, day three. Did I say day four? I meant day three. Uh, like, uh, we'll, we'll go We'll go day four. Uh, they only have 10 days to get here, get the jewel, and get back. It costs them three days to get here, uh, as well as a really blown opportunity of spending the night at the greatest place in this land. Uh, it's like the world's giant truck stop in Halfling land. Uh, which I'm sure they'll be welcomed back with open arms. As we join them, the uh, Corpus Keep is overrun by a lot of spiders and a lot of skin-headed priests. Uh, they've had to deal with three of them. Uh, if their count is correct, there's at least one more, if not two, left. Uh, but like I said, low on hit points, low on spell slots. They're getting tired. It's pretty dark. It's pretty late. Gentlemen, what would you like to do? Uh, and can you, if the DM has the map available, can we see the map again? And sure. just uh, again, a refresher of what our location is. Sure. Because I think when we last left off, we were all beat up. <clears throat> Copious is looking like a bedraggled cat. Mm -hmm. Uh and we were discussing whether or not we had time for a short rest if we felt like we had a safe spot to do that in. Is, is that how everyone else remembers the... <clears throat> that, it, that is how I remember it. Unfortunately, I also remember that somebody set fire to the upper floor of the keep uh, and you guys managed to escape by the skin of your teeth from the falling stones and timbers. Uh, so so you have that issue as well. You guys are currently outside of the gatehouse, right about here. Uh, you have stables to the south. You've been in this area. You have the exit clearly marked. Uh, but you also have these three rooms. Uh, each has murder holes. Apparently, if intruders got into Corpus Keep, they would be shot up like you guys when you roll ones. <clears throat> so that, as they say, is that. Dude, so I'm, I'm looking at the, the magic user of the group. Mm -hmm. uh, do, was, do we have a sanctuary spell or something similar that we could, Yeah. A warding spell if we wanted to try to camp somewhere? I do. <clears throat> Uh, sanctuary. I got right sanctuary. Sanctuary. Like Logan Run Sanctuary? Uh, yeah, it's, it's real sanctuary. It's, it's for an individual person. I've got another one. Uh, I also got the card as well. Uh, is that the warning? So now, I, you still have the stables to the south. They are covered in thick webs, but I'm sure that is no precursor yeah, of doom. So, 
how, how's everyone else looking? I, again, Copius is covered in bruises. He's contused. He's concussed. He's he's got scratches. He's beaten down. What's the status of everybody else? I am very very rough. I've used up some spell slots, but I'm not too bad. I don't know how bad I am. I'm good. I don't know what Copious problem is. Man, how is this going? My problem was Robert uh, setting fire to everything, but that may be beside the point. All right, if you guys feel like you can press on to clear out some more space, I'll press on. But if we have to fight something tougher than I, what we fought so I, far, I can throw a heal spell your way. Yeah. Well, if you're doling out heal spells, I mean, <laughs> a little bit of Felix is carrying all those. Felix what? is carrying all those. What? Yeah. What, what? what about your healing potions? Jason, don't you have some healing potions? You need to save the healing potions for later. Yeah, uh, There is no later for him if he doesn't take a healing potion. Uh, does your spell require the use of a spell slot or is it a cantrip? Nope, it's a spell slot. And we get the wild, roll, wild magic. Wild magic. All right. All right. What, what do you want to do, Copious? Do you want a, do you want a healing potion? If we're not going to rest, I need a healing potion. I won't I survive a, an encounter with something tough. All right. I've got one for each of you. Well, Felix, uh, I believe we've used one of them, though. You don't have it. Giving it up. I don't have. I don't believe we've used any of my healing potions. <laughs> so we, I, I think we've used somebody else's. We use somebody else's because Felix has I, I had the ones it. that were given to him, which came out yesterday, unfortunately, in real life. I had used up the last of what I had ready. Hey, I didn't say anything to Felix. I said Copius needs to use up a healing potion. You voluntarily spoke up after that and announced yeah, to everybody. So now it is actively in the game. Uh, everybody, everybody perception for... check. <laughs> All right, we screwed around so long, we're now screwed. <laughs> 18, 22, 13. Wait, no, 13. plus four, so that's 17. 30, 20. 19. All of you hear a loud crash as the fire has consumed the timbers on the second floor of the keep, and dust pours forth as the entire second floor lands in the first floor to the left of the gatehouse. Uh, it also comes with a loud noise. Uh, probably, you know, heard for miles. We didn't know to go back that way, did we, anybody? No. no. Okay, that's good. No All right. Uh, let's, give... let's not stay here, though. No, uh, but before we leave, I'm going to reach into my bag, give one of the healing potions to Copious, and I'm going to take one myself. Uh, how much is that good for? I eight. The eight plus two re-roll any ones. Uh, uh, now for Robert's information, uh, one of the other murder hobos has given me a new uh, wild magic effects table. Uh, and it is, damn, I'll say colorful. <laughs> Plus six healing. They're only doing that because they're jealous at how lucky I've been on my wild magic roll. So they had to, uh huh, can't, can't handle my luck. And Felix, uh, Copious drinks your potion. Uh, very appreciative of the, the uh, goodwill gesture. Flips you a gold coin for your trouble. Oh, thank you. You're so kind. You know, no problem. And then, and then goes, Can I have that back? Because that was the shittiest potion I've ever drank. I'm uh, sorry. That's. Everybody, perception again. Take it up with the witches when we get back there, because mine wasn't too good either. I got a 10. 13. I got a 21. Uh, 15. One. Man Fang, Copious, uh, as you guys are discussing things, you notice along the old parapet line uh, spiders. Oh, yeah. Have like come to the edge. Spiders or spiders? Spiders. <laughs> um, I'm going to go into the room. Uh, where the room closest, any room closest to the exit, look in it real quick if there's nothing valuable that it looks like there to be in there. And I'm just going to stay close to outside of the exit. 
So you you are going to be <clears throat> let's see here. You you want to go in that room? Closest room to the door. Okay. Uh, that would be that room. Uh, as Man Fang moves away from everybody else, uh, Man Fang, your way is blocked by two spiders. Ah. No initiative. Opius, are you feeling better now, or do you still need a special touch? Uh, I, I, natural 20. Oh, no, no, no. Only Man Fang. I <laughs> I'll let you keep the natural 20 for your initiative, though. Man, uh, Fang, what'd you do? <laughs> I got 18 for my initiative. You get to go first. Uh, there are two giant spiders here, and they look no, a boy. bit hungry. Behind them, give me a perception check. I need a perception. All right. That is a 19. Uh, remember that bald dude uh, priest who didn't have much care for anybody but uh, or, uh, Felix and Leaf? Yeah. yeah, that's him. He's here. <laughs> is he is he angry at us for killing him? He, he looks a little pissed. Uh, he has sicked his giant spiders on you. Coming towards me? Uh, he is not moving at this time. Then I'll act like he... No, I shouldn't act like he's not there. I have a bad idea. The giant uh, spiders are going to kick your ass, though. They are going you need to kill something, so I will. I'm going to attack spiders. Sure. Go oh. ahead. Spider. First attack did not hit. Second attack. Also, wait, no. Second attack, great axe. It's 16. 16. 16 does hit. I hit the, with the second one. Do some damage. Thirteen. Thirteen to spider number two. Uh, spider number one uh, is going to bite. Spider number two is going to shoot web out of its ass. Gross. Uh, eighteen and eighteen add three. Twenty ones. First off, give me a strength save. Uh, to make sure you can break free of the web. Um, your bonus. I don't know if that breaks three to 13. With my bonus? Oh, your strength. My strength bonus is five to 13. 13. Does the 13 work? Or is that a uh, it works for the spiders as you are bitten and pushed away and splattered up against the far wall. Everybody will see that. You take five hit points and you need to make a con saving throw. Half sheet. Give me a second. Oh, no, you do not. Because you wear the magical armband. Yes, he does. Yes, he so do. poison has no effect on you. Yep. Uh, Felix... Poison, fire, acid. <laughs> no, none of those have. He's yeah. a dragon. He's immune to everything. Leaf, Felix, Copius, Robert. Uh, you hear a little bit of a clatter and you see your favorite uh, dragonborn, splattered up against the far wall and you see two set or two spiders go ahead and roll your initiative at this time please and i need to roll magic wild magic times two. Oh, did, okay well let's do that first well yeah go ahead and give me your initiative rolls dirty 20 for copious uh, uh, that was you. at 20 for copious oh sorry and 13 five <clears throat> And Felix? 22. Nice. I want to correct the record. Um, Manfang's not our favorite Dragonborn. Anybody else's? <laughs> just, just, uh, Robert, uh, first D4. Three. Uno. Second. Two. Four. Nope, we're all clear. Uh, so, round two begins, and the cleric steps out. Felix and Copius, did you guys get your healing I sent to you? Yes, I, did. I did feel you much better. Uh, but we're going to start with an out 20. Copius, you see trouble. So, uh, the, the cleric is stepping out of the door? Two spiders and cleric are stepping I'm, out the door. I'm hitting the cleric uh, with two blasts of... Uh, 
and there's a clear shot between Copius and the cleric um, because man thing's stuck against the wall, right? Correct. Okay. Uh, Eldritch Blast, two of them at the cleric. Uh, they're both over 20. Do those both hit? Yes. All right. That's a good start. Do you have to look at them? Uh, nine and nine. 18 total. You see him do this. Oh, crap. Uh, 22, Felix. Uh, I assume that I'm going to be standing behind Copius, kind of off or somewhere. Sure. And I'm hoping that I can get a sneak attack on one of these spiders. Sure. They haven't seen you. All righty. Then let's do that. I'm going to shoot an arrow and get a sneak attack. Shh. What is my modifier there? I don't think a 12 is enough to hit him. No, it is not. Damn it. Right down the hallway. Hot dog in a hallway. <laughs> Well, that sounds like Felix, all right. <laughs> uh, you see the cleric start to move his hands. Uh, the spiders, uh, there's five of you, so spider one is going after six. All good. Cloud. Felix, spider two is going after five. Felix, <laughs> uh, spider one. <laughs> Is biting, as is Spider Two. They did not like you taking pot shots at them. They Boy, I, I hope you're a Dragonborn so you can resist everything. Uh, two and nineteen, so twenty-two. Uh, I am going to need a con save, and I'm going to use uh, Murder Hobo Die. Yeah, not bad. Seven damage. Uh, Sixteen on the con save. Uh, no toxin in your bloodstream. Good. Can I use my uncanny dodge to, because I assume I can see them coming at me? Oh, yeah, you can, uh, there's no question you can see them. You round uh, up or down on that seven? Round down. Always right. round down. Uh, so I am going to target with the cleric. Oh, no shit. <laughs> Well, this is going to be interesting. Four. Uh, Man Fang, who is currently being held, uh, he is going to help you down with poison spray. Uh, you know what? Yeah, he doesn't know you're immune, so he's going to do it. Okay. The spray kind of corroded the webs. That would be nice. Uh, it would have, except he rolled a three, so he missed. Uh, that moves us on to uh, Spiders of Dawn. Uh, let's hear it for the 13, Robert of Zeppelin. Come on, Bob. The direction they're in, is there a lot of wood around? No, oh. this is stone. St all stone. All right. I'm just checking before I cast spells. Sure. All right. Well, the first big big whammer here. Let's do uh, some burning hands. Remember your wild magic. Mm, I know. I'm looking for it. There it is. Boom! Give me a percent roll. I'll port in front of them and then cast fire. <laughs> 72. Oh, shit! <laughs> Uh, as you cast your burning hands, uh, instead of the normal jet of fire that you are so used to, <laughs> it forms a small ball of fire and grows exponentially the further away it gets as a fireball <laughs> over. Uh, you are going to catch both spiders, the cleric, <clears throat> And Man Fang, who will be released. <laughs> sorry, from man. This spider. Uh, 6d6 fireball for this one. And I got my murder hobo ink dice. They do get a saving throw. Do I get a saving throw? Or am I just screwed? Uh, you would if you weren't <laughs> caught by the webs. <laughs> uh, both Seven. spiders fail. 
Well, that certainly cuts down drama. 32. Drama. Uh, 32 is going to kill that one. 32 is not going to kill that 32. one. You take 32. And well, 16, does he take the full 32 or does it half damage? But since it's wild, he just takes it. He takes it because it's wild. <laughs> Good news, though, man, Fang. You don't have to roll that strength save now that you're <laughs> up. You are definitely free. You Well, you didn't have eyebrows to start, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> does anybody else just picture these little spiders like comets running across the floor mm -hmm. on fire? What do you want to do, man, Fang? I'm just going to stare at my hands going, what the hell? <laughs> I'm going to slap your hands and say, stop that. That hurts. And say, hey, I'm very pained. Can I sit down for a bit? Sure, you can do that. I don't think anybody's going to even notice you. Run away first. Yes, I did say that. What did you, what'd you <laughs> say? Just run away first and then take us. Oh, run towards the party or run down the hall? Run towards the party. I'm not that stupid. Well, you, you, you want to bet? <laughs> oh, okay. You will have to run past the spider and the cleric to do this. That's a free shot. I'm not that. Obvious. They're already, he's always saying they've already went past you. Oh, okay then. So the other direction would be maybe a better idea. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. I didn't know they passed me. So. Make an intelligence check. <laughs> <laughs> Knew he was going to do that. Ouch. That's a 10. So that's minus three. That's seven. Oh, no. <laughs> You're going to run right past the spider. Uh, it's going to take a shot at you. Oh, that's going to miss. That's a four. So you're going to be safe on that one. Uh, last but not least, uh, the druid. I'm going to cast Bane. Run, Forrest, run. On. It, it'll hit all three of them. Two. One spider's dead. One dead. Okay, it'll hit the other two. Wait, saving wait. throw? A saving throw is a charisma saving throw. They, don't, they take a die four every time they attack. Track that number from their attack roll. Uh, the cleric uh, got a 22, but uh, the giant spider only got an 11. Okay. So it does it a die four minus any reaction? Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, oh, shit. That's what I'm going to do next. Uh, okay. Top of the order. Nat 20. Copious old bitters. You're up. Uh, so <clears throat> when I cast the spell, two solid hits clearly hit the cleric. And the cleric looked at me and just dusted off his shoulder. He dusted off his shoulder, but you can tell you did do some damage. Uh, but you serious. didn't do what you expected it to. Okay. Okay. Um, wow. Uh, could I do an arcana check or perception check to see if I notice if he's protected magically? Or um, cast, uh, I assume if I cast detect magic, that's going to go off like a light bulb. So... Well, that'll be your turn, but that's at this point. I'm just trying to figure out uh, what's going on. What's going on with this guy that he's just, you know, brushing off a, a spell. Sure. If you want to cast detect magic, I'll tell you what he's got. I'll cast detect magic then for my turn this round. His scale mail is magic. His mace is magic, and an amulet he is wearing around his neck. Unlike the other pink amulets, this one is silver and onyx. Uh, it is also magical. So this guy's highly decked in some magical armor, weapons, trinkets. Okay. This would be B BBG zone. Uh, Felix, you're up. Shoot the amulet off his chest. That worked real well last time. Do it. You did. Ah, good. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I guess I will try to attack a spider again, but I don't think I'll get a sneak attack this time, correct? Correct, but there's only one spider, and he's pretty dinged up. Uh, all I got to do is hit him. Yep. With an eight, I don't think I'm going to hit him. 
Man, man Fang running, don't shoot, has uh, allowed you to misfire. Uh, the spider is going to take the opportunity to attack. Copious, as if somebody is telling it to go after him. With a five. Uh, that is going to miss. Uh, the amulet begins to glow on the cleric. His hands extend like this, and just a wave of pain and torture encompass all of you. Give me a saving throw against charisma. Oh, charisma. So I just plus nothing. Cool. 17. Seven. Uh, 14. Am I in the range of this pain wave? Would you yeah, be? you ran the wrong way. Six. 17. Okay. Six. Um, Six. I got a seven. You got a seven? Yeah. Uh, Leaf, Robert, half damage. Felix, copious, man fang, full damage uh, as just a wave of uh, nausea and pain encompasses your body. And it's 3d8 plus his modifier. Whew. Ouch. What? 3d8 plus a modifier. Well, there's an 8, a 6, and a 1. <laughs> so 15 plus 3, 18. So 18 or 9. I'm currently dying, but surely I have zero hit points. Down goes the dragonborn. Uh, no uncanny dodge on this one, Felix. Uh, that brings us to 13, Robert. <laughs> Fortunately, you managed to dodge the nausea because you've eaten Felix's cooking. You're muted. I thought I had muted. I right. thought wrong. I know. <laughs> You go. Let's go ahead and roll for ma wild magic to start. Four. Good. Now, I rolled a 20 to hit. Uh, who are you hitting? That uh, cleric, the one that just hit me. You have hit him. It's Witch Bolt, so that's 12-sided. Is, is it just straight damage, or is it damage... He will not be immune to this damage. His uh, amulet's used up. 25, four, then four. 34, 34. That was just a straight. Does, is that a critical hit? Do you get damage and a half again? If it's natural 20, it's damage, damage, modifier. Oh, on a spell? No. Yeah. It is okay. Just so 34 hit points. Just. Hey, he's hurting. He's not as healthy as he was once. Uh, Manfang, first death save. Uh, first death save. That's an 11. At, with your con? No. Nope. One, no one con? pass. It's 10 or above. Straight Are roll. Constitution yes. saving? Yes. Or, okay, the one save. He got it. He got 14. it. So, yeah, you got, you got one save. Uh, Leaf, you're up. Your associate. Is you got to do a deck save. I do. There's nobody in between me and you, right? Uh, spider. No. Uh, but you're aiming for me. Yep. Uh, that is a 16 and 2. 18. Okay. I've cast a lightning bolt. So he'll take half. You'll take half. <laughs> yep. That's two hobos. 12, 6, and 7, 19. Another hobo. 29, 33. Yeah, he's starting to feel it. Uh, top of the order, not 20. Copious, this guy's decked out like Christmas. And, but it Robert's spell did damage to him. Mm -hmm. was that you had two Eldridge Blasts and a Fireball. Was so that spider was in between me and him? 
Uh, you know, it was going after copious, so no. The, the sp I'm saying that if the spider was between me and him, that's a five foot wide lightning bolt that rolls down through there. D12 against me. If you get it, I'll uh, we'll dispatch the spider. Five. Well, spider is dispatched. So just the cleric. So Copius though watched everybody else do damage to this guy, except Copius. So now Copius is irritated that everybody else was able to hurt this guy. How come you stand up? Well, you know when you the day you turn out to be a man. Then maybe you can do some damage to the big boys. Can I take a bonus action to punch Robert in the nuts before I cast the Eldritch Blast? Sure. If, if Robert, if you not Robert, 20, he'll be at disadvantage. Uh, Robert was castrated years ago to hit the high notes, so kiss off. He's a castrato. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I didn't get a natural torn. I, I, I did with a, a, if I got dex bonus, it was 17. But that's the only way when you're in the school of swords to be able to move so swiftly. They have to remove that, you know, and hanging luggage. Uh, <laughs> I did uh, fourteen and twenty-five to uh, the elder class to the guy. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah, he's not doing so hot. Felix, twenty-two. Oh no, no, that was my attack roll. I. I oh, I'm sorry. Seven. What was it? Fourteen and twenty-five. I assume the twenty-five hit, but what? About twenty-five hit. Fourteen does not. Uh, and then nine points of damage. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, he's not close to death now. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> like, wait, wait, wait. Did I, did I say that was damage? No, that was damage. <laughs> that was damage. <laughs> All right. Is that spider still alive? Let's see if I can hit him. It no. is not. All right. Then I'm going to take a shot at this last guy, and I don't think that I get the sneak attack either. You could always try to heal, you know, man oh, thing. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I rolled a 19, so with my modifier, it's 22. That hits. I guess I'll here. Uh, 11 hit points. Let uh, them do the fight. Uh, a web stretches between you and him. Uh, it's going to catch four of you. So. That's all of us if you don't include me. No, you're caught in it, so but I keep rolling fours and fives. Oh, you know what? I'll, I'll just do... Okay. Okay, so I need saving throws from Felix, Copius, and Robert. Man, Fang, you were also caught in the web, hanging upside down. <laughs> what's, what's the save? The save is 15. Dex. 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 Web spot it was level three. Is it 15 on the nose? Uh, 20, no, Ooh. 19. All of you notice the web creates a wall. Uh, you can still kind of see him through it, but you're going to have to hack this wall down to attack him in melee. And anything you shoot has a chance of catching the web instead. Uh, bringing okay. us to. Save number two, Man Fang, straight up D20. That's an, mm, that's an eight. Push your, push your, uh, straight uh, up. He, he said oh, straight, straight, straight up. Straight up. One and one. Uh, Man Fang's not in trouble unless he rolls um, in that one. Just to clarify, though, somebody can stabilize Man Fang if they take an action? Yes. It sounded like Leaf was going to do some work out there. Uh, and it is Leaf's turn now. I'm going to heal, man, Fang. Okay. Uh, also note that uh, Morag has gone back into the room that man, Fang was headed towards. That's the cleric? Mm -hmm. Morag. Nice. Now, Leaf, he is in the web. <laughs> uh, he's not, I, as long as I can touch him, that's all I need to do. Sure. Uh, roll a straight up D20. If you roll a one, you also caught. Nope. You heal him, but he's still stuck in there. Top of the order, Copious. Oh, I gotta find it. Uh, Wait a minute, I didn't go. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, I'm going. To, oh, so I can't shoot. I can't see that guy anymore. Mm -mm. All right, I'm going to shoot a. Where is it at? Firebolt at the web. Oh, seven. Sure. Okay. 
So, so wait, is is yeah. Manfang still in the web? Yes. <laughs> well, you're going to set fire to the web that Manfang's caught in. Yes. I only have 17 hit points, so you, I advise you to stop. And I like to watch stuff burn. Got Even it. If it's Manfang. Okay. All right. I'll I'll go up and try to hack Manfang out. Hopefully, oh. I don't fumble. I, I can almost see. Hold on. Ooh, I rolled a nine. Plus my attack. Plus my attack. So that equals out to 17. Okay, yeah. You, you put a gaping hole in the web, and it begins to flutter in the light breeze of the night. Uh, now top of the order, Copius. Yes. Uh, Cop Copius, because we've been in combat, he still has his sword and his dagger. Um, so he's going to go towards the room that Morag just went into. He's going to try to stealth up to it, not just run it. He's not a he's not a barbarian. Um, so if I can stealth up there, I will and see what's in the room. Stealth check. Uh, da, da, da. uh twenty one. Uh, you stealth in, take a look around, two more giant spiders, and the cleric is moving into another room. Uh, so I, if I can do this, this is what he would like to do. He would like to go ahead. Um, I'm assuming the spiders are farther in the room. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I want to step out. If I, if I was just inside the room, I just want to take a step back and, and shoot Eldritch Blast at one of the spiders. Sure. I, I, I surmised you did the sneaky peek. Yeah, the sneaky. Okay. Eldritch Blast, one spider. Uh, one blast missed, I'm sure. It was only 10. The other yes. one's 23. The other one hits. Odd okay. even. You hit the first one. Nine points of damage, and I'm calling to the, to the rest of the party. Uh, more spiders. Felix, you're up. Ugh. More spiders. I hate the spiders. All right. I guess I'm going to follow Copious and get you to cut over. Did you run down the hallway, you yeah. said? Okay. And peered the around the, the what? He went, he went in the room on the right. Uh, no. for the, the hallway itself is the entrance to the keep in the old days. You can see the mangled port. Hope you don't throw it at him. Okay. Yeah, I guess I will follow. Copious and <laughs> look into the room and shoot an arrow at the first thing that I see that is not copious. <laughs> our party members. I, I want him to make a uh, perception check to make sure he knows that it's not copious. <laughs> Spider number two is going to be your target because both are coming around the corner. Now, can I, is this going to be a sneak attack since I'm popping out? They have no idea you're there. Wheat. Ooh, 13. Uh, swing and a miss as you graze the hairy skull. Uh, they leap quickly, and since you two are the only two there, one apiece uh, on Copious. Um, Nat, 20, first of the night. <laughs> Nin 19 to Felix. Uh, both of you give me con saves. That's not good. Break out the red, <laughs> white, murder. That's not bad. Five piercing damage to both of you. Natural 20. 13 on the con saves. Uh, oh, just barely <laughs> makes it <laughs> as no venom uh, is there. Now let's get back on track. And uh, Robert, uh, two of your colleagues have gone rogue hero and charged towards the room. Okay, and uh, Man Fang is now stabilized and standing. Uh, uh, ish. <laughs> All right, let's. I'm going to drop one healing spell before I start moving out. Okay. So, magic. Ah, four. And then, Man Fang, give yourself eight more hit points. Okay. And then, if I can still do something, I'm going to start moving down the hall. I can't attack, but I can move. Yeah, you can move. You can uh, sandwich yourself in between Felix and Copia. Well, I didn't say that. I just said I get down there. <laughs> Having a nice, you know, main or uh, cannon fodder started. wall. Cannon fodder walls work. You know, protect yeah. my knees. Oh, I agree. Uh, Leaf, uh, 
No, actually, I'm sorry. Uh, Man Fang, you. Give me a second to adjust my health. <laughs> All we right. I need more than a second. <laughs> uh, um, what am I going to do? I think I'm just going to walk in the back for now. Not really do much. Just walk in the back. Fair enough. Recompose yourself. Yes. Leaf, you. I'm going to uh, switch to carrying my shield and as I walk forward, cast bark skin on myself. So I got Copius and Felix in front, Robert and uh, Leaf in the back, and Manfang uh, seeing the sights, uh, taking yeah. the touristy information. I, I figure Copius and Felix are kind of hunched over, so it's kind of like if I put my shield on their back, it's kind of like I got a kite shield now. I'm sure Copius uh, feels that. That will give him advantage on punching you in the nuts again. <laughs> well, he's uh, used to a beer being set on his head. I figured he'd be okay with the shield. Oh, oh. Folks, forgot to mention this is for mature <laughs> audiences only, and that brings us to the nat 20 for Copius. You're up. Uh, I'm going to take another bonus action to use his nuts as a speed bag. <laughs> <laughs> Told you I don't have any. Well, I'm going to keep hitting them until I find one. You can't enter the boys' choir unless you can uh, hit a certain octave. So, so I had to get rid of them. Spiders in melee combat now? With yes. you. Yeah, all right. I'm going to attack with a sword and a dagger. Uh, I did uh, 15 with the dagger and 14 with the sword. Same one, I assume? Yeah. Okay. Did they both hit? Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, yes. 15 okay. and 14 both hit. Sorry. Sorry. I should have clarified that. I, I keep I keep thinking, holy shit, he does a lot of damage. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I didn't know what the I didn't know what the AC was on it. Uh, the sword did six points of damage, and the uh, the dagger, however, did eleven points of damage. Nice, almost killed it. Uh, Felix, you and uh, Copius are locked. Mono a mono a spider a spider. Okay, can I switch to my short swords, or does that take an entire turn? You can drop it, and I'll let you pull your short swords, and if you beat me on a D12, I'll let you attack with both. If you don't, I'll let you attack with one. Let's do it. Now, remember, when you drop it, it's on the deck. <laughs> yep. Ten. Twelve. You get both attacks. Yes. All right, let's do it. What I got here? Please be a one so you can throw one of your swords away. Because <laughs> <laughs> I will gladly Ooh. pass on Copius taking a hit to throw that sword into the rubble. One of them was a nat 20, and the other one was a 19. Yeah, that's damage, some damage dice modifier. Rolls. Yeah, that's some... That's some oh, yeah. Man. What is it? Eight plus three... And then nine. So, so 17. Eight was that points for three? Felix. Eight plus three and nine? Yes. Eight plus three is 11 plus nine is 20. There we go. Yeah. I'll give you the lower roll if you want. Uh, no, no, no. I, <laughs> are you using man things, thing wisdom, and intelligence to make this dice add? <laughs> uh, <laughs> count that high. It's spider time. Uh, are they before me on my 13? Yeah, they're 15. Okay. Copius, I was going to try to step in front of you with my shield, but it wouldn't, he wouldn't give me a chance. Two and an eight. Both misses. Robert, you're up. Can I do a shield bash on the one in front of Copius to push it back? You're going to have to beat me on a D12 because Copius isn't like a midget. <laughs> <laughs> he is when you're like 6'3", I figured he was. He's just a gnome. Uh, you know what? You roll a D20, I'll roll a D12. Okay. This is shorter than a midget. Isn't Ten. It? I rolled eleven on a D twelve when I rolled the first time. You may shield bash. Uh, Copius, you have a new part in your hair. <laughs> <laughs> you know how long it takes me to get this hair to look this way? Damn you, Robert. <laughs> it's a, I, I added a little hair gel as I walked over. You, you look like a rat terrier. You still have <laughs> grown out from the, the <clears throat> Okay, Robert. Do it to it. Do I need to roll to hit with the shield bass? Yep. 
much. I think it's D6 plus two if you're successful. Yep. I rolled plus three, so 16. Hits. D6 plus two. That is five points. Yeah, not bad. Uh, leaf. Uh, that pushes it back, right? It pushes it. Well, I think I have to make a strength save. I did not make my strength save. Okay. Uh, so it gets pushed back. Leaf, you're up. They in the, the first room that we were looking at? They're in the only entrance off this main courtyard. That's the only entrance off of it. Okay. And they're blocking the doorway. Am I, am I they, they are indeed. Well, I guess I'm not going to do a damn thing. Can I see the cleric by any chance? Not from your angle. So, yeah, as you can tell, uh, there's only one entrance. It's a little bit. Let me enlarge it here. So as you go in here, which is where the buildup is, this is where the spiders are, but you cannot see the cleric. So okay. you assume he has moved here. So that's not another door above that. It's uh, like a little alcove or something. These are murder holes where the defenders would shoot arrows out. Hey, you can go look through it and shoot. When you Well, that makes a lot of sense. When you said murder hose, I thought it was something that Felix was interested in. <laughs> My bad. Sorry, Felix. No, you aren't. <laughs> is something Felix is I guess I'll push my way into the room. Uh, do you want to push? I assume you're going to push over Felix? No, I'm just going to kind of squeeze in. I'm not, not trying to knock anybody down. Give me a dex check. If they should, <laughs> they, oh well. Oh, uh, that's a three. Who did I fall on? <laughs> Felix. Uh, odd, or you know what? Uh, one to two, Felix. Three to four, Copious. Five to six, Robert. Felix. <laughs> Felix, give me a deck save or you're fighting at disadvantage. It's like a bunch of people fighting to get a cabbage patch kid in the 80s. 30 20. I fell okay. on top of you, Felix. Do you feel that roll of coins in my pocket? I hope that's a roll of coins. Felix, yeah. uh, he rolls off of you and falls flat. Uh, that's going to make it me wonder if Copious is, is going to go after him. But we will worry about that next. Uh, Copious, 30 or Nat 20, you're up first. Uh, my spider got shoved backwards. Uh, is it still melee range, though? I, yes. stepped, I stepped over him and bashed your spider forward. So I figured it's back out of the way, and Felix is to my right, and it's in front of me. Is that uh, how I he, picture? He teabagged you yep. uh, and shield bashed the spider. So he is between you and him, but you may take a crack at Felix's, keeping right. in mind that Leaf has just tumbled into the tray. <laughs> what a cluster of hell. <laughs> the only one safe is Manfang. Copious is going to come up. Manfang, just stay out of this mess. This is. Cocked up like you wouldn't believe. It. I'm going to hit, hit the spider that uh, Felix is. Spider. These are comic books just waiting to be written because you can't you can't write this. You have to okay. live it. I 17 <laughs> with the dagger and uh, 18 with the sword for the Both attack. Well, okay. Now, uh, Leaf, uh, you get a new part in your hair as well. <laughs> uh, and since I do, would I? Would I be able to sneak attack that spider being a little gnome that's coming out of the shadows on the side to get it? Hey, my understanding, you're not so short. Yeah, I'll give you one sneak attack. I, that's, I just want one. He'll know I'm there after that, right? Okay, oh, so. yeah. He'll know. Uh, so with the sneak attack, I did 14 points of damage with the dagger. Okay. And then I did eight more points with the sword. And Frank, awesome. just just for a flashback, the very first game we played with Copious Full Bitters two years ago, when he dove into that green blob, it's the same dagger. <laughs> the, the gelatinous cube. <laughs> he got that plus one dagger. He's still totally there. worth it. Totally, totally worth, worth it. it. Uh, Felix, it's it's a mess, but your spider's looking bad. Uh, it is Grand Central Station here. You got me <laughs> at your feet. You got Copious standing on his ass, stabbing things. You got Robert in front. All That's right. Let's see what we can do here. I'm going to take my two swords and 
So, so a, a, a one is going to go just about anywhere. <laughs> well, uh, then I just won't roll a one. The, sure. skin, the outer skin's pretty tough. You might want to go and attack it from the inside with no. the two daggers. Uh, no, I'm going to hopefully in a finishing move, stab the hell out of it. There are no ones. One of them is a 16 and the other one a 22. Both successful. All right. Uh, seven plus five, 12 damage. Uh, that is enough to finish yes. yours off. Uh, there's only one left, and it will attack Robert. Uh, 16 plus three, 19. You have to hit me with a 24. I do not hit you. That's Unless why I took. Bite, that's why I stepped bite. forward. I figured I can at least take the shots here. I'm I'm biting the shield, so you're up. <laughs> All right. Yum yum yum. Let's. There's a lot of stuff going on behind you, though. <laughs> yeah, there is. All right, burning hand coming online. Put up in that corner cover above a toaster and get the feet. Seventeen plus three, so twenty-one hit. Yep. Oh, magic. <sighs> Oh. She's got the fun of the magic. Hey! How can we screw this over? Uh, give me your percentage roll first in case it's a good thing. 85. <laughs> <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> uh, your burning hands illuminates the darkness, which appears to be... Magical darkness now because you can't see shit. <laughs> Nor can anyone else. So uh, give me your damage on your burning hands because we know you hit. Uh, 11, 15 points. Uh, that is enough. Well, you don't know. <laughs> uh, magical darkness has descended into this room, but now it is quiet except for a slight sizzle <laughs> so who's up um uh, nat 20 or no uh leaf is isn't he he was after leaf, leaf would be next oh uh, man thing is are you gonna wander or are you gonna do something this time i will take off my turtle shell and hold it in front of me in front of the doorway with just my eyes poking above. <laughs> okay. Why don't you just turn your turtle shell backwards? Uh, he is going to knock all of you into the darkness. You know that, right? At least if I get <laughs> uh, Leaf, you're up. Uh, so the whole room is dark now? Pitch dark. I mean, you can't even see shit. Okay. You think a blindness spell went off. I'm going to, whatever's closest to me, is it Felix? Uh, yes. Uh, you were on the ground, actually, so you have to get up first. Well, I'll get up. And uh, Odd, even. Uh, odd, Felix, uh, somebody's using your leg as leverage. You can't. Spider! So, spider or leaf. I've got to touch my shield and cast light on it. Yeah, that doesn't work. <laughs> I'm going to bat it with the back of my sword. The hilt. Sure. Uh, hit at disadvantage because you're totally blind. It's going to hit the door frame. Uh, do I take the lower of the two then? Yep. It's a six. Uh, <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, top of the order, copious. Uh Shit just went dark. Didn't pay the electric. Uh, so the entire room, and we were just inside the doorway, but the entire room is now in magical darkness. Mm -hmm. We're all on top of each other. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do two things if I can. The first is I'm going to point out to everyone, I, hey, I think this is magical. Somebody's <laughs> cast magical darkness. Um, <coughs> so if Manfang, last I knew, Copious knew Manfang was outside the door. He's going to call it to Manfang and ask Manfang, Manfang, call out, whistle or something so we can hear where you are and try to move towards Manfang because that would be back in the hallway outside of the room. So I'm going to try to do that uh, as 
my act as a bonus action or as an action? What would uh, and then would I get perception roll maybe on trying to walk out, follow Manfang's voice if he whistles? If he hears you, Manfang, go ahead and give me a perception roll, please. That is a 17. Uh, you hear him tell you to whistle. All right. Whistle. I was going to say, I don't think Dragonborns can whistle. <laughs> but, 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 but it's me. I knew he would try, and it would be like a trumpet being blown out in the hallway. Uh, roll perception, Copious. Let's see if you can tell. Uh, Felix, do you hear that? It sounds like some something's Mountain Buttercup. <laughs> <laughs> Again. Uh, okay, you think you've got a good handle on it, Copius? Felix, you're up. Uh, hearing the conversation that just kind of happened, I'm going to try to make my way towards the Sound of buttercup mounted outside, sure. which is actually man thing. Sure. Go ahead and give me a uh, survival check, I guess. Oh, boy. None of these play to our strengths. The two rogues uh, do not have these. 13? Uh, you bounce off the door frame, but step outside and uh, you are still in darkness because it's dark out, but at least it's not magical darkness. Uh, you successfully step out of the way. Uh, my turn. Uh, Robert, your turn. All right. I am going to try to back up towards that sound I hear. Sure. Survival. Yep. Nope. Seven is not working for me today. Uh, you knock Leaf down again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Man Fang, you were headed in all Falnixed up. Uh, <laughs> and now you sound like a cow that's been shot. What do you want to do? Keep moaning or... Because keeping in mind that... Uh, Probably alerting something. Uh, um, I don't want to step in the room because it sounds like nothing's good coming from the room. Mm -hmm. so, always do a bird call and then back away. Caw caw caw. <laughs> you know. Uh, well, you see Felix exit the darkness, uh, so that's something. Uh, Felix and Manfang perception check. Fifteen. Fourteen. Uh, Felix, you hear it. Man Fang, you do not. There is a loud swoosh coming up and out of that chasm over there. Ooh. And there's a, like an air disruption. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, back to the top of the order. Copious. Uh, in oh, I, I didn't get to do it. Oh, I, I, I'm sorry. That's right. Leave. Oh, he's oh. got to stand back up. I want to cast a spell magic, and I don't have to stand up to do that. No, yeah, that's true. Uh, what level are you casting it at? Third. Magical darkness is gone. Uh, from yep. your from oh. your vantage point on the ground, you look over. Give me a perception check. Oh, crap. Magic out of water. Is uh, there anything I can say that would play to any of your strengths? <laughs> city boy, city gnome. 24. 24? Uh, you see an orange glow. Not, not in the next room, but the room after that. And you see the body of a dead cleric on the ground in the next room. Uh, that can't be good. I'm going to try to get to my feet then. Yeah, that's no problem and walk over on the ready and look in. Copious, as you start your trek towards the door, the magical darkness is gone. It has been extinguished. Give me a perception check. Oh, uh, 18. Uh, you also see the orange glow. You also see the body on the floor because in that second room, uh, there appears to be a brazier lit of some kind. Uh, so you have orange in the far room, flickering firelight in the second room, dead cleric second room, orange glow in first. Uh, Felix, 
Uh, it was big, whatever it was. So, yeah, that's not good. What, Leafs uh, uh, genitalia rubbing on your head as he fell over you? No, I'm going to go in there and it, <laughs> I have, I'm going to go back into the room to pick yeah. up the my bow that I <coughs> dropped. There you go. Yep. Oh, did that I have to get one. kicked when we fell around in the dark? Oh, oh, shut the hell up. <laughs> I'm sorry. It didn't but get kicked around. It got healing yeah. potion. <laughs> I'm going to tell everybody that something big sounded like it flew by or something happened outside. Can Copious take an action, or was the the darkness being re released? Was that was that? Uh, still oh no, you can take an action. Uh, I I was doing the perception, but yeah. Is uh, there a murder hole in this room that I'm in where my bow was dropped? Uh, no, there is not. Just the door. Okay. This is no time for you to be looking for hope. I was looking. There was a hole in the wall, and I was just. I got yeah, that's, go that's the second back. room. You have to go back out in the hallway and down. You can look into a mur murder murder hole. Then murder I'm going to go. Hole. That's what I'll do. I'll go get my bow. I'll tell everybody that I heard something. I'm going to start walking back towards a murder hole to see if I can see anything out there. Well, the thing came up out of the chasm back behind us. The murder hole, the murder hole is in the next room we're going to. It, I understood correct. He heard that sound from behind him where the star's at. So you heard some, a sound oh. of something big, large, and whoosh up and yes. out of that hole. Yes. And, but There's the no murder, murder hole. hole. The murder hole is the green check. So you're saying you want to go look at the chasm. Uh, I don't want to go too close to the chasm. I don't want to get sucked off <laughs> into the chasm. Well, no, I ain't going to do it. I ain't gonna just, do just it. Let I'm, it gonna, I'm going let to go. Sure so, um, uh, but the the dead cleric is you should be able to see through the murder hole, right? That's the, the from. The if he room. goes to the murder hole, he would see the okay. dead cleric. So copious on copious turn, he wants to cast summon face spirit, okay. which um, allows me to summon a face spirit and direct it to do what I want. It takes its action right after my turn on my same initiative order. So I'm going to cast Summon Face Spirit. I'm going to tell it to go into the room where the dead cleric is. By the way, the spirit looks like Latrec. Nice. <laughs> so uh, the spirit will go into the room where the, I'm going to say, go in the room where the cleric is, uh, look at everything, report back. And if the cleric is dead, take the, I'm going to tell it to take the magical brooch and the mace and bring it back to me. Cool. Uh, what level is that spell? It's a third level, uh, second level. Hold on, one second. I gotta look it up. Uh, third level conjuration. Fair enough. Uh, Felix, you were going to the murder hole or the chasm? Uh, I guess I will go towards the chasm, but I don't want to get too close to the ledge. I, sure. I don't want to get, like I said, I don't want to. As you go outside, you still see the spiders lined up on the parapet. Oh, of course. Oh, oh, they're, 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 they're not moving towards you. Uh, Do I that they're looking at something? They're waiting for they're the looking at you. Watching us. Okay. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Uh, copious. Uh, as your face spirit goes in, it crosses the threshold and it disappears. And that's why you summon Latrec to do the dirty work. <laughs> Phineas Lidrec. Uh man, or no, I'm sorry, Robert, you're up. Uh, I'm going to follow towards with uh, <coughs> Leaf, since he went forward over to the, the look inside the room with them. Sure. Uh, Leaf, or I'm sorry, Manfang, you're up next. I'm going to put my go. shell back on. Come on, and on. I guess just stay inside of the room. And wait till something happens in either one of them, and then leave. You're up. Well, if I, I assume I could see that face spirit disappear when it hit that doorway that I'm standing in. I assume you can see the track, correct? Yeah. Does it yeah. have a yeah. form? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you has a form. Yep. You see it disappear just as it goes over the uh, decedent's body. Hmm. I'm going to look at Robert and say, Yo, maybe we ought to see if we can get Copious or Felix going there first. Sounds like a plan to me. 
especially you know, that copious guy. He's kind of greedy. So if you get it, tell him that there's a secret recipe of booze in there, he might be all over it. Felix, he'll also run in there if you just say, Felix, there's a naked woman passed out on the far side. Sacrifice. She's right. got dice. <laughs> one of the shaman women? Uh, top of the order, copious. Is there anything on the floor around here, pebble or a jar or anything like that? Uh, there's a lot of debris. I'm going to throw some debris in that room. Okay. It clatters. Are you standing in the doorway? Yeah, okay. we both are. Well, the doorway where the, the dead cleric is at? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you, you are standing in the doorway. Yeah, both of us. That's why I said I'd go up there next to Leaf and stand by the doorway looking in. Hang on just a second. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Hi, the Leaf. Yep. Uh, as you step up to the doorway, you see this mace. <laughs> uh, it connects hard uh, 19 plus 5 uh, roll a d4 for me please 3 you are blind for 3 rounds uh, the second one for Robert misses uh, Leaf screams in pain and he takes whoa, uh, 10 damage from the mace. Uh, Robert, you narrowly miss getting hit with a 15 uh, by a second attack, and your nemesis steps out. The dead body is not Morak. Oh, so. So a little bit different. Yes. That's so, why but, I, went, I sent the spirit in to check. I, I wasn't sure who was. No, there. you sent the spirit in because you're a chicken shit. You don't have to cover up with something else. It's okay. I didn't well, get that, 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 three rounds either, did I? Yeah, that, that, that was you guys walking up. So top of the order, Copious, you're up. Uh, Morag is right in the doorway. Uh, Eve is doing this. Uh, Robert dodged his attack. So you're up. Uh, so uh, Morag is in full view, but I've got two of the party in front of Morag, right? Yeah. Correct. You're going to have to split uh, 710 split. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm going to try to uh, sneak up next to the, the side of the door frame so that if Morag comes out, I'll mm -hmm. attack him if he, as he comes out. I don't want to get in a position where I'm going to hit either uh, Leaf or Robert at this point. So I don't want to be in Morag's view. I'll be on that side of the door holding my attack until he steps out. Fair enough. Felix. You're Felix, muted. you're muted. Man, I'm bad with mute today. Uh, so he's not out of the doorway, just like the copious said. I think I'm going to do the same. I'm going to draw an arrow with the bow that I picked up on the last round mm -hmm. and wait for him to step out of that doorway. Fair enough. Uh, his turn, Robert. Uh, you're in the doorway. Leaf is incapacitated, aka blind. He is going to try and double tap your ass. Bastard. Uh, 19 and a 14. So 19 and 24. I'm a 24 exact. Uh, roll a D4. Four. Oh, well. Four. Okay. Uh, you are blind for four rounds, uh, and you take 10 hit points and probably lose a tooth <laughs> as Ouch. he clocks you. Uh, you are up. You are blind. Me? You, yes, you will attack at disadvantage. I'm passing lesser restoration on myself, getting my sight back. Okay, uh, that'll be next. Robert, you're up. I'm up. Mm -hmm. I'm going to kind of try to step back away from where I just was and cast healing on myself. Wait, wait. Hex wait, check. <laughs> wait, wait. I, I just want, I want to ask Robert one question, though. This is Robert. Robert of Zeppelin, who we've played with and ventured with all this time. He wouldn't instantaneously cast Burning Hands straight in front of him, regardless of the fact he could see. I'm almost dead. 
<laughs> One more <laughs> shot, and I'm dead. No way to die. <sighs> and, and as soon as I step back, the flame of burning hand cone Damn has it. got a porch. I, I missed the screenshot of Felix. <laughs> <laughs> so Dex check stepping back. That is 17. Uh, whoever was behind you steps out of the way or whatever, and you uh, stagger backwards. Man Fang. I'm going to cast healing. Okay. Magic roll. I rolled a three. Uh, three. <laughs> Sweet. Here's where the problem hits. Uh, ot three, or yeah, double zero three. Oh, shit, he's counting. Uh, roll a d10. Oh, fudge. Uh, it's this one again. Seven. You move in slower. <laughs> oh, freaking <laughs> wonderful. Uh, yes, you are slowed. <laughs> Helmet slowed. Uh, Manfang, you're up. All right. I guess, so there's a person in the doorway. Yes. And you can, er, yes, you are in the room. So you can see into the next room. Uh, Leaf is doing this. He's about ready to touch himself and feel better. Robert is moving slow. Felix and Copius are looking at each other, trying to figure out when they're going to shoot, and it's you. Um, I'm going to take out my axe and try to hit him or hit it back into the room. <clears throat> so you're going to charge forward. I'm not going to go into the room, but I'm going to go and hit it. He's not where we can see him. He's hiding behind a damn doorway. Oh, is he? No, not, now he's in the middle of the doorway. So is yeah, he, 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 Oh, good. Uh, go ahead, go ahead and attack. If you, if you screw this up, you're gonna hit Robert. That one didn't hit. What? Uh, what does it take to hit him? Though. Nineteen. No, that didn't hit. Oh. Six plus eight. Fourteen. You didn't hit twice. Six plus eight. That's sixteen plus eight. Sorry. So I hit twenty-four. Okay, 24. that's that's different. <laughs> it's that new math. You have to think it out and just. I have the number dice where it's only single digits. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're supposed to be using a D twelve. This dice. We go with oh, oh, he means oh, it, okay. it's 20 sided. It doesn't have the, the 10. Gotcha. And I told him to pick whichever color, give him the highest damn number every time. When the black was giving me high number. <laughs> I didn't know he had that one up. My fault. <laughs> I had one with dots on it. Oh, oh uh, God. It look, did you looks roll? like he did really well. Wait, no. One plus five. That's six. Okay. What's this guy got on? Split a plus three scale mail. Oh, he's wearing scale mail, so that makes scale me mail. Doesn't that make me want to kill him okay. more or something? Metal scales. Oh. Uh, right. Leaf, time to touch yourself. Yeah, I'm touching myself right now. Let me get a hold of my magic amulet. And I'm more magic amulet. I'm gonna cast heat metal on it. Oh, that works. Okay. Well, hold on. You can't cast two spells. So, which do you want to try and cast heat metal on him, or do you want to uh, resuscitate yourself? Oh, I thought I did that last turn. Yeah, he did that last turn. Are you sure? Eyes. He yeah. takes his eyes plus a restoration. Okay, yeah. Go ahead and heat metal on him. Yeah, at the top of the order, and I restored my ass at the bottom of the order. So, I thought that's what that was. Sure, we'll go with that. Uh, so, you're going to heat metal. Uh, Rerun there and see. Uh, Instant replay. I don't care. That's fine. Uh, now, does he get a save against the heat metal? No, I don't okay. think so. So, uh, how much damage? Uh, he gets. He can. He's got to succeed on Constitution saving throw or drop the object if he can. It's not a holding. It's a wearing the object if he. If, uh, 
says that means creature is holding or wearing the object takes damage from creature must succeed on constitution saving throw or drop the object if you can doesn't drop the object it has disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks until the start of your next turn 15 and you get it uh there's also a die that damage too fire damage yeah, yeah. So does a does a 15 save seven and eight is 15 damage i'm sorry what was that does the constitution 15 oh no because my uh my spell thing is 16 okay sorry i, I didn't know what i was what we were uh, no you're, you're what fine. level are you casting this at at my spell thing what level are you casting old man <sighs> third level or second yeah, see I'm, I'm bouncing from one screen to the other and it gets a little bit confusing I can ca at third level. I think it takes another die eight. Doesn't it? You're three die eight if you're on third level. Two die eight if you're second. I die eight. I don't have any level three spell slots left. Second level. Top of the order. Uh, before you go, did you want to attack Felix and Copius, noting that Manfang has rushed up and is now squared off with your assailant? He's the man. Uh. The, the assailant, I could attack, from where I'm positioned, I could attack the assailant right now. You and Felix both held your action. Right. So for this round, do you want to try something? Then, top of the order, you guys will go oh, again. Okay, yeah, I want to try I want to try to attack him if I can, if he's within reach uh, sure. before the round's over. I, it's melee attack. I'm not sure. using spell. 19 uh, to hit him. What is it to hit? 19. Both hit. Sweet. All right. That's good. Uh, da, 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 da. So for the dagger, I did eight points of damage. And with the sword, I did uh, 11 points of damage. Okay. Felix. Did he come out? No, he is in the door. Okay. Can I see him then? Mm -hmm. Or not? Ah, okay. Then, yeah, you, yeah. Can, you can just do this and shoot him. Oh, yeah, that's exactly what I'm Don't gonna roll do. one. You roll a one, there are three targets you have a shot at hitting. Nope. I rolled a 19 without a bonus. So 22. Put in his eye. Put in his eye. Yeah. I do I get a sneak attack? Yeah, he doesn't know you're there. Oh yeah. And that Ten. good. Ten. <laughs> Top of the, two snake eyes. That sucks. Top of the order, copious. Uh, I'm hitting him again. Uh, 19 with the dagger and 19 with the short sword. Okay. And the dagger does eight, and the short sword does 11. Total. He's not looking good, Felix. Again. Oh, yeah. There's a 19 plus 3 for the hit. Is that a sneak attack again? Oh, no, not this time. Okay. <laughs> Still. Uh, 11 for damage on that one. Morag falls backwards. Uh, were you using a sword or? That was an arrow. With an arrow in his eye. Yeah. Uh, all of you now up on the doorway can see the orange glow is coming from a rudimentary room that is kind of moist or humid. Can I see, though? You're still I was still two rounds away from being... You're, you're still see. blind, Stevie Ooh. Wonder. <laughs> you want to attack? <laughs> Wait. If, hey, if, it, if this is where I go down, I, where I... Do I know that Robert's blind? Because I'm going to call out to Robert. You don't know he's blind yet. Ah, oh, crap. We're about to get fried. Go ahead, Robert. What do you want to do? Um, For victory! I am <laughs> casting a spell, so let's start there. It was in the name of justice. <laughs> Please be fireball. <laughs> 53. Explode the room. How about that? 
He'll pull him up onto the parapet. Uh, you know what? There's five of you here. Roll a d10. Oh, God. Sorry, guys. Six. Uh, Felix, uh, Robert casts a spell, and you hear, you're pretty sure you hear the words, in a chuck, and you start oh, to God. grow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, you are going to grow a lot. Uh, well, is this a target <laughs> spell? Can I, like, hold myself and make only certain parts of me grow? <laughs> no, this is a wild magic. Roll a d6. Let's see how big you grow. You met your feet, right? Yes, his feet. Clown shoes. Three. Uh, you are now uh, 200% larger. Double. Oh, well, now you weigh like 300 pounds. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 600 pounds. If Copius would have caught that spell, it wouldn't have been a big deal. Felix is now blocking the doorway as well. Good news, Leaf is on the other side. Bad news, Copius gets hip checked like a Pittsburgh penguin. And Robert steps back. What was the spell you were firing? Blade Ward. I was casting a ward, so I didn't get hit when I couldn't see. That was it. Wow. <laughs> I, I just wanted the panic to ensue. But I figured I didn't know what was going on, and before I get hit in the face again, I'm going to cast blood uh, protect myself against bludgeoning. See, just playing it out. And, and did I get what get into the room, or uh, am I still in the the room? You know, you, you know what, Leaf. I know for sure you're in room two. Copious D12 with me, and we'll see if you beat okay. me. You can be in that room. Well, two. So, which room do you want to be in? Uh, I was I was toe to toe melee with that guy next to Felix, so I assume I got bounced into the room on top of the guy. And if I'm on top, I'm going to groin stump that sucker for the damage he did. Sure. Uh, now there are two dead bodies in there. I want to look at the other dead bodies, see if it's another one of these clerics. Well, the isn't the other dead body right now underneath Felix's growing body? No. He he is in the first room yelling, oh, okay. get in my belly. Uh, you and Manfang are stuck behind him, and his butt crack is also exponentially growing. I'm going to put the tracer beacon in his crack. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, so in the <laughs> other room, I have Leaf and Copious, two dead bodies, both male. One is the asshole you've been dealing with, he wears the uh, onyx uh, spider. The other dead one has a pink spider. So I'm going to tell <clears throat> Leaf. I'm going to say, uh, tell Leaf that uh, with magical sight, I said that that mace and that scale mail are glowing like mad. And I'm going to pull the brooches off of both of them and hold them up and look at them and try to do an arcana check to see if they, if either are similar to what the brooches that we'd already found. Uh, Felix, roll a d4 for me, please. By the way, Robert, you're still blind. Uh, Felix is going to be large and in charge for two rounds. You will not be able to make it through the doorway. Uh, Copious, That's all right. I'm blind for two more rounds. So. <laughs> Manfang, uh, you're getting the short end of the stick because Robert's firing off freaking magic like he's, uh, I don't know, a philanthropist. And Felix's butt crack is encompassing this whole room. What do you want to do? We won. We won. We beat him. We beat him, Sarge. I'll, I'll do the Arcana check, too, if, while we're doing it. Go ahead and do your Arcana checks. That's a 24. Okay. 17. Uh, the uh, pink uh, looks exactly like the other amulets. Uh, the Onyx one looks a little dull. Uh, it's still worth some money, probably worth 500 gold pieces. because It's a big honking polished piece of Onyx. Wow. But something looks wrong with it. You if can't only really... I wasn't blind and on the other side of this ass, I could identify uh, that. If there was a protection amulet, Copious, it's probably used up. Remember, we started hitting him pretty hard. That's what I'm wondering, too. I, I said when we're done, we'll have Robert 
Robert uh, take a look at these things, see if he can identify anything we've missed. But I want to look at the, the two cultists really carefully and see if one is the, the guy we were fighting was a badass. I mean, he's just decked out with high yep. level magic. He was also the one that liked Felix, quasi accepted Leaf, and thought the rest of you were repugnant. Yeah. Do we recognize him? Do we recognize the one that's dead? Yeah, he was one of the others in the group. So I'm looking at Leaf going, what killed this guy if it wasn't us? Oh, I think it was us. Now he's talking about the original dead guy. Also, there's an orange glow coming from the room. And from where you're standing, it is going to be a cistern room. We'll go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and, and search the two that are laying here. That scale mail, if it's metal, I can't wear it anyways. No, it but is. Uh, um, anything may be able to fit into it. I would like to take it and see if we can get it let out for man thing. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we'll take the, the mace, I suppose, though. But sure. We'll, we'll go ahead and search them, see if they got gold on them. Or... Uh, they have platinum ingots. The uh, head honcho has 200 platinum ingots. Uh, the other one has 50 gold pieces worth. How much is which? How much are platinum ingots worth? Times five. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, perception check, Leaf. Perception check, Copious. That's uh, 24. Uh, or 26. I'm sorry, 26. Uh, both of you notice that the orange glow is now pulsating. Rapidly. I'm going to walk over to the door and... Uh, yeah, I'll go with him. Hey, Chuck, uh, Felix, you are starting to shrink. Robert, uh, you can make out dull shapes. You're like Han Solo getting ready to shoot Lando. Now, is he shrinking pretty uniformly or parts of him staying big and the rest shrinking? Like his ears are ginormous? Yeah. Yeah, ears. That's what we care about. I uh, I, I will say he's uniformly shrinking. I'm casting a spell. Uh, I was in the pool. Do it, Han. <laughs> Make them big again. Uh, we're going to shrink something this time. Uh, hey, if you roll the fireball, you're going to blow away the party. 82. That's not a fireball. Huh. D10. Uh, fireball was in the 70s. That's all I can say. Seven. Uh, copious will be back seven. Uh, okay. Uh, Felix, as you regain your form, give me a perception check. Uh, man fang perception check 23. That's a 13. Uh, Robert has blinked out of existence. Oh. <laughs> Oh, damn. Like blinked out of existence, just gone, or like teleported? <laughs> He's gone. Uh, D12 against me, Robert. Um. Okay. Is he a ghost? Robert. Nine. From the great beyond. Uh, Felix and Manfang, uh, where Robert was standing, you hear, huh, I wonder what that did. <laughs> <laughs> he is invisible. Invisible. Well, there's only one thing to do is Go over there and start feeling around to see if he's still there. Like, what the hell just happened? Uh, what is right here? Roll a d6. Yes, do that. Two? Yeah, I want to go check out that guy's skin mail, or if it's my turn. Do I, do I feel him? Yeah, you can feel his head. Yeah, you're after Robert, so I'd say yeah. That's my second head, Felix. Go ahead, man fang. Uh, can I go get the scale, ma the scale mail? We'll tell you that scale mail has got magic on it. You should see if you can fit it. Yeah, I'll try and fit into it. Do I fit? Because I'm D12. Pretty... D12, well, baby. Come on. Is that a 12? Oh, I, I also cast my ward again because nobody has still told me that the bad guy's dead. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, it's, you're going to need to have it taken out, man, Fang. The what? You're going to have to have it taken out. We'll take it with us. We'll take it with us anyways. Okay. It's going to cost you. That's fine. 
Well, uh, ask someone what it can do or if it's sure. got magical stuff on uh, it. Only Captain Jackass down there can tell you what it does, and he needs to roll a <laughs> D4. <laughs> Do I have uh, enough strength to hold on to myself and Copious on this ledge, or do I have to let him go and drop into the abyss? Well, you got to roll die one hundred, see if you can hold it. I rolled for Copious and he slipped, so Ooh, I, I don't think you made the catch. Did my so, rope catch him though? I thought I had him on the rope. I thought you were using the grappling hook to try and catch his <laughs> nose. So as as the ground beneath you starts to deteriorate, Copious slides down. Uh, Copious, go ahead and give me a dex check. No problem. And as I fall, I'm going to scream, just remember, assholes, I have the map! <laughs> yeah, he has the map. Ah, uh, the backpack has the map. Map, 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 map. What am I rolling? Dex. What uh, is, Jason, this wasn't, a, this wasn't a sister, and it's accessible, and it's, we slipped on the steps. Uh, can I use acrobatics if it's uh, slippery? That it's straight down. I'll, I'll let you use acrobatics. Okay, then it's twenty-four. Oh, uh, it's close. Uh, so you do manage to grab a hold of a weed, but go ahead and give me strength to see if you can ah, hold on to it. That's like making Manfang do an intelligence check. <laughs> I know twelve. Actually, Copious, the only thing that happened was Robert cast yet another spell and turned himself invisible. Felix is Lionel Richening him uh, and can go ahead and do a ghost thing later with him and make his yeah, yeah. representation. Uh, Manfang has discovered that he, he's put on a little weight, so uh, the skin it was not is kind of fitted. Because uh, his dietary habits are out. Robert, can you form a crude potter's wheel? <laughs> uh, Copious and Leaf, you notice <laughs> as you look in just above the cistern on a ledge that I don't know, probably held buckets, is this item. Please be a jewel. And it is this red area Ooh. is actually pulsing orange, uh, and lights are funneling in. It's almost like an LED light is just funneling into the center, and the intensity oh, yeah. of the center is growing. Who's grow who's grabbing that one? I'll wear it. I'll command the spiders. Wait, so how big is this this object in the well? Uh, about the human male's hand. Okay. And we were sitting here to find a jewel, right? Yeah, I think that's it. But this uh, is the jewel. This do I the feel jewel. a pull towards that jewel at this point? Do I feel it calling me? You're, you're pretty sure something ahead of you is calling you. And the, the shadows, the shapes, they're coming into formation. Uh, and you ask Felix what he's doing. Felix, can you get your fingers out of my eyes? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize those were your eyes. No, the brown eye. Get it Get it out of the brown eye. Yep. Uh, but, yes, uh, the blindness is wearing off. Somewhere ahead of you, uh, you can feel it in your very fiber of being. I'm just going to slowly start stumbling that direction like it's pulling me to it. Felix, I feel something this way. Like, What is it, boy? Where did you go here? Did he fall down the well? Uh, uh, hold Where? on. Hey, Felix, uh, the guy that you can't see says, hey, we need to go this way. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't know. He's just groping me. I didn't know I was invisible. Yeah, you're blind and invisible. If I Round remember. two of pulsing. Uh, so we'll start with Copious. Then we'll go to Leaf. Then we'll go to Manfang. Uh, this thing, the intensity of the light is starting to pick up. Uh, do the, the, the ambulance we, we found, are they responding at all to the thing in the well, glowing more, getting warm, anything at all? Okay. Nope. I, I'm looking at Leaf. Um, it, I, can we do an arcana check or history check to see if this, if, if there's anything in our knowledge that would say, I hey, know. there's a weird spider creature amulet i will give arcana to start investigation second for you leaf and man fang 25 on my arcana 
let's do this. Let's see if I can roll Arcana. 18 on Arcana. And then uh, 15 and 2, 17 on investigation. What was the third one? That's it. There's oh. three of you. Man thing? Where's my arcana? Do I, can I roll our, My arcana is minus three. That's a 15. Oh, is it? My arcana is minus three. That's a 15. So that'd be 12. And then what do I have to roll? Uh, investigation. That's from right here. Which is also minus that's three. That's a minus three. That's a 15, yeah, 15 again. Again. He rolled 12, 12. Worried looks are exchanged between the three of you as you realize something bad is probably about to happen. Leaf surmises that this bottom part of this spider looks to be an add-on of some kind because there's a little ridge on this where the color connects. So this neck piece would appear to be a screw top, according to Leaf. This will be coming up round three, but first, Felix and Robert, what do you want to do? Yeah, I think we need to... Uh, uh, take... I guess I'm going to follow... Well, I don't know where Robert is. Yeah, follow Robert. Yeah. Felix, he's right there. You want to walk towards the rest of them? Walk outside? Yeah, I guess I'm going to walk towards the rest of them, and I'll catch up with Robert later. Uh, you'll kind of bump into his butt as he uh, slowly goes in. Round three begins with an ear-piercing screech outside and above. Uh, the intensity of the light is almost hypnotic. I need wisdom saves from Leaf. Okay. And Fang and Copious. That's a 27. Or tw I'm sorry, 24. 13. Wisdom saves. That's a wisdom save. Wisdom's saved. right here. You got a plus one. Oh, uh, that's a minus. My, I have a two. That's, that's, that's a three. three. It's a three. Uh, Leaf, uh, as you kind of half ass close your eyes, you look over at your associates. And they are just locked into this jewel, not moving, focused intently upon it. Just close enough to reach. It is. I'm going to grab it. Do not fumble it because it will go into the cistern. All right. Go ahead and hit it. Uh, just straight up roll? Yep. 17. You reach across and it burns to the touch. Four hit points of damage, but you manage to grab it. All right. As you turn it over, your suspicions are correct. The glowing orange jewel, which is red when it's cold, kind of screws into the spider figurine. I'm going to unscrew it. Uh, give me a wisdom roll. Make sure that you don't tighten it. Um, 18. You correctly deduce that it's righty tighty lefty loosey, and you unhook it. The jewels on the outer frame of the spider legs stop moving. Copious and Manfang do the shimmy. Uh, and you see footprints approaching from room two, uh, and Felix is right behind it. It's a ghost! <laughs> fireball. Fireball it now. Fireball I, as much I as you can. Manfrank, Manfrank did that. It came out of being, you know, sort of hypnotized and a little off study, and he saw a ghost. Yep. And it's swinging at the ghost. The should, ghost. should I intelligence check him? <laughs> I think you have to. Hell yeah. Outside, there is a loud screech, almost kind of a painful uh, scream. Robert, Robert, your uh, invisibility spell drops, and Felix is now you see him. right over your shoulder. <laughs> Damn. Hey, baby, it's going to cost you a couple gold pieces and a dinner before you get this close. Uh, do you well, remember uh, airplane when piece. they're holding her? <laughs> Do I, do I, I'm holding this thing. Do I feel like this is why we're here? Uh, only Robert would be able to tell you that. Robert's walking in, honey. 
do, right. I, do I feel that pull towards leaf? I'm going to keep walking to leaf. Just nothing else matters. I'm just focused, die hard on what he's got. I'll I'll for it. Uh, the orange gem towards him. And see if it's now red. Red gem towards him. Cool. I'm going to I'm going to reach for the gem. My precious. Okay. My precious. So I thought I'm going to get it. I'm, I'm going to tuck it in my shirt over this ward right here. Robert, Robert, that's not where you're supposed to supposed to put it. Tuck it in. Oh, we'll put it right. I think you have a lot of room down there, apparently, from what you've been saying. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it needs to go in your Navy pouch. So uh, your perceived target has been taken into possession. I'm going to tuck the other part of that uh, jewel into my pouch. Fair enough. Uh, it is encrusted with diamonds and probably worth a rather shit ton of money. Don't if care. All I care about a suitable buyer. All I care about is what the hell I got in my hands because it says I need to. It is like two o'clock in the morning. Oh, I'm man. feeling it. I have like almost no spell slots left. Uh, I'm down to just my, my one spot slot, so I don't have any twos or threes. I have no twos or threes. I have two what first level slots left, and those were saving just for healing. Healing so, is the issue with me. All that bonus you gave me disappeared on two hits right after combat started. Uh, this area appears to be exceptionally defensive. Just <coughs> <coughs> to uh, excuse me, a, a very defensible position if you want to sleep. Yeah, I don't we have to. I need at least a short rest. Yep. I want a long rest, man. I want a long rest too, but I I'm but our three watchers. Our riders, our mounts are outside. I'm a little hesitant to be in here too long with something large that came up out of the chasm is screeching outside and a bazillion oh. spiders on the parapet. I'm not very worried. When our rides back to the temple are out there. All right, let's do a yeah, shot. Wa walking without the mounts is going to take you a bit more than three days. Yeah. All right. Leaf is going to turn into a whale, and we're going to just <laughs> flop. Uh, so, uh, the key question now is short rest or a long rest? Short. short. What do I get back with short? Uh, half your hit dice. What about slots? Uh, first and second only. Unless you're a warlock. That, that's good enough. I've, I've got, uh, I've only got two third level slots anyway. The I problem the problem with the short rest is everybody's going to have to con roll to make sure you are not exhausted, which only plays a part in getting back to the other side because you have two large gaps. So, oh, who's a, well, who's got a shitty con here? I got a plus three on my con, so I'm willing to take the chance on the roll. I have two. I got a plus three. I have a plus two. What about you there, man, Fang? I got <laughs> He's plus three. Copious? All right. Copious and Felix, maybe, because I know Copious is hurting for hit points. Felix is hurting pretty bad. I'm hurting, but I can do. So, I'll get some of my hit points back, but... Uh, we'll let I have a better chance at taking that negative on a con and letting them sleep that full short rest. Does okay. that does that allow them not to have to do the rest for con if they're just uh, going to sleep? It, no, if it's a short rest, everybody rolls. Okay, shit out of luck. So, so then I'll, I'll, stay up for, I'll stay up on a shift. I don't care. Well, then do we take the long rest to make sure we don't get a level of exhaustion? I'm fine with it. I mean, All my right. battle chickens are pretty important, but you know. The, I didn't <laughs> the only thing I need to recover is hit points, and I can do that if you want to use heals me, so I can stay up as long as you need. No, I can but take you exhaustion will still get you if you don't rest. Let's long rest. I'm done. Yep. Fine. Long rest? Long rest. Yeah. Who, who are the three watching? I am. I think the three with the big con is the three. Man fang. Focus is 75% down on hit points, if that gives you an idea of where he's at. Are there doors on this thing? Yeah. Uh, I need mean, one more. Are there doors on these things? These rooms? Just, just the one door. 
Well, okay. why don't we shut the door and bar it? The front door. No, uh, I, I, I don't mind. Everybody can go to sleep, but if shit starts coming through the murder holes. The spiders? That's true. Uh, spiders or insect plague, I believe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, the I'll, fifth level insect play. <laughs> I'm staying up, so I'm one chip. Who's I'll the second chip? I'll be another. All right. Okay. So the three of us, we got three ships. Good so, note. Robert's one, two. Manfang's three, four. Leaf is five, six. <clears throat> As uh, mid morning rears its beautiful head, uh, Leaf, you notice there is. Zero sound outside. I think it's all clear now. Uh, something ate everything else. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna take a little peeky poo. Uh, the light, uh, because it's not midday, uh, is blocked by the high chasm peaks. Uh, but you can tell. Uh, it, it's a blue sky <laughs> up there. Okay. And you can, when you do take the peak, now that you have a little bit of light, yeah. you can see fresh tracks, i.e. the day before, of booted feet, i.e. clerics, came through the portcullis area. So they had a shortcut. Well, I'm going to wake up the rest of the crew and tell them uh, it looks like we found a shortcut out of here, the route that the clerics were using. But you do not have mounts. What? Day five. <laughs> the place we left the mounts, the mounts are gone. You do not know that. Oh, oh he's I saying if we take the shortcut, we don't have mounts going out. If we want our mounts, we have to trek the long way back okay. to them. Okay, okay. I, I misunderstood that. I thought it, like, yeah. it doesn't make any difference which way they went. We've got to go back the way we came. <clears throat> so we're going back to go get the mounts. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody got the everybody got the long rest. Everybody's fully healed, all that happy shit. First first gap in what would be the southeast corner of the fortress. Uh, this is not where you left the rope, is it? It's the other one? It's the first one had the rope on it, I thought. Okay, so uh, the, the second gap, you have to make your dex or acrobatics save. I'm all right with that. I got a good acrobatics. Ready? Everybody does this one. Right? Yep. Let's do it. 17. Roll your uh, dex or acrobatics. <laughs> acrobatics. Oh, hell, you're good. Frank is uh, good. That is a 17 plus four. Felix is laughing. I can't really wait to hear that one. I, got, I, I black flipped over the ledge. 23. Leaf and Felix? I had 19. 12. Felix uh, skins his knee as he slides across, almost falling into the chasm, taking three hit points in the process. Man, we heal you up, and you always it is a good thing we rested. Everybody notices this place is like a tomb. There is no sound whatsoever. Crap, 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 crap. crap. Well, it's because one of the predators in the area. Yes. Uh, you guys go down to the tower, the corner tower. You hang the right. Uh, this is where it gets tricky. You recall your first jump was the dangerous one. Yep. Uh, you used a rope to escape the spider horde, but left the rope to dangle, so it is on, on the, the other, other side. side. What can you turn into, Leaf? Oh, man, I can jump across this, not a problem. How far is it? it that that I perk up that Frank did just makes me think you might it's about eight feet. Okay, I'll turn into a whale. We'd already be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the whales, the whales got to be held up by the, the yeah, and be a bridge. Yeah, yeah, bridge. No, he gets big and then he shrinks. I rose seventeen. 
uh, he sticks the landing. You are on the other side. The rope is right where you left it. It appears to be okay. Still attached to the uh, stone crenellation. I'll toss it over. The rope. Uh, who are you tossing it to? Whoever's going to catch a damn thing. Not me. Give me, a, give me a dexterity to hit, Robert. Nat 20. Oh, yeah. Piece of cake. Good throw. Good throw. Good catch. Uh, okay. So do we want to Georgia the jungle this, or do we want to make the jump while holding the rope just in case? How do we want to do this? <laughs> Is there not enough rope to tie it off? Uh, no, you guys had to cut it. Um, Copius is light enough. Somebody can probably hold it on one side and he can shimmy across it. Yeah, well, I'm going to anchor the rope. And... Sure. Uh, Copius, straight up D20. Hold on a second. Aha. Uh -huh. I have at least two ropes in my bag, and that's one of them in my hand. So you want to tie it off together? I want to tie the other rope off to this one and have Leaf pull it back across, and we'll tie a new rope across. Well, now, didn't you use both ropes for hand grip and yeah. foot grip? I used one of mine. Somebody else used theirs. We used the silk rope is the one that I think we're holding on to right now is the silk yeah. rope. So you want to do the same thing? Well, we're not going to have – unless somebody else has got another one. I only have one more rope. Oh, okay. So I can only do it – well, I can hold it, but then somebody's tight roping it back across. What? Aren't you a, like a, a bard, like a super dexterous bard or something? Well, not dexterous, no, but I do have uh, bard feet, whatever it's called. Bard feet? Uh, That's why you get half your, half your proficiency on every skill stat. Sounds like something that itches, you know what? Fleet something feet. that needs a cream. I have fleet feet or something like that. I can't remember what it's called. Cream or a deterrent. Hey, if you um, use powder, you won't have that. Problem. I was going to say, of all the characters here, Copius is the only one who's standing long jump. It doesn't come close to clearing this chasm. So I, no. I have to go across. Well, you know what? Well, Cop here. Hang on. I'm going to cast Bardic, Bardic Inspiration. <laughs> so you get a D4. Or no, you're level D6, right? Yeah. Sing me a song, Robert. <laughs> this way... You get to add that bonus to your rolls, correct? Yes. So, uh, hey, Billy Joe McAllister, are you going to make the jump with the Bardic Inspiration? <laughs> um, <laughs> or do you want to have him hold the rope and you will? Hold the damn rope! No, 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 no. This is my thought. We will we'll tie the rope off, the big rope off. Okay. And that way you can hold on to that one, and I'll hold the bottom rope, and we'll make our rolls. Okay. So that way you're suspending yourself with one, but you have the feet. And then if I let go, at least you're holding on to the other rope. Okay. I'm going to jump back across, which I just did, and cast jump on Copious. Wait! I'm going to cast mend. I'm going to mend the rope pieces. Oh! B4. <laughs> so Oh, thank oh God. God. <laughs> you, know, you know what? Roll a percentage just to, just for shits and giggles. Light the rope on fire. 76. So we're in the meat fireball race. Fireball. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, copious, you now have jump. That's true. You roll a one. So we have two ropes up now, though, because I mended the one rope, and we have secured the other rope. Is that athletics or acrobatics? Just straight up. Oh, six. <laughs> Again, Copius is the only one that couldn't clear this without assistance. Well, you cleared it, but you had assistance. So who wants to? Uh, Copius, you are now the only one on the other side. Yeah, what the hell? He's, and he's standing there <laughs> looking around going like, wait, what the hell happened? How did uh, I and, and as you study yourself with a six, give me a perception check. Now we cut the ropes. He's stuck on the other side with all the spiders. And the mounts. Natural 20. <laughs> and whatever that sure you smell sulfur. It's a bull rock. I, bull rock or whatever it, the hell it's I, called. I, I'm very curious. So Copius, he's, he gets his whiff of sulfur. And he's standing there. And he's, he's kind of paranoid because all of a sudden he's the only one on this side of the chasm to begin with. Mm -hmm. Smells the sulfur. 
And it's that scene like in the movies where the, the guy realizes something's behind him. He's going to do one of these numbers to look around very cautiously. It's a bull rock. I know it is. Turn around and fight it, Gandalf. I'm, I'm going to turn around and look at everybody else and go, Hush! it's like the, the, the Abbott and Costello when he can't speak. Yeah. <laughs> So those. everybody else is on the other side. Who wants to go next? Felix. Felix. Go I'll ahead. Go next. I, I assume you're hand over hand, foot on the other one. Ah, no, I'll just jump. I got a high dexterity. <laughs> <laughs> but here's why I'm going to jump. I am going to reach into my bag and grab something and hold it in my hand while I jump. What, your ass? Nope. It's a potion of levitation that I found. Ah, in case you start to just in case I I fumble and I go good down. Call. Okay. That's a good call. All right, you ready? You're not gonna jump. You're gonna jump and then keep going and not stop going. Uh, Fourteen plus six. Dirty you do your superhero landing. Yes. <laughs> and I roll, roll a straight up D twenty. Make sure you don't break that potion bottle. Because <laughs> it wasn't your you hand. Or he suckered you into it. You almost shatter it. Uh, Man Fang, you're next. Are you going to use the ropes or are you going to uh, superhero? Oh, I'm use the rope. Yeah. I mean, I'm You, you no. are or are not. He is. He is. At advantage. He, he's, already, he's already, you know, come close to death twice already today. So, uh, Felix, uh, copious. 16. 16 plus my athletics. He's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, then I'm good. Uh, you can smell sulfur as well. Man Fang, you come across. You smell sulfur. Leaf, I'm going to go across. Since you got that wonderful jumping technique, you can untie and jump. That way we don't lose the ropes. That's the important part. <laughs> uh, I'm like 24 or something like that. Sure. Leaf, you're the only one over here. Uh, everybody else smells sulfur. Untie oh. the ropes. I'll unhook the ropes. I'm going to reel them in. <laughs> Wait. Are, are you holding one as he jumps, just in case? No, I just jump back across. It's oh, a roll. Dear. He made his roll. Oh, okay. Oh, awesome. Uh, 16. You guys are all on the other side, and there's, in, in the silence, you hear this guttural growl coming from the depths of the chasm and the sulfur aroma seems to intensify a little bit. Everybody roll perception. God damn, we need to run. 13. Oh, my Seven. perception sucks. 22! 22. Yeah. Everybody but Robert sees uh, the battle chickens uh, and the zonkeys. Uh, they seem to be nervous. Yeah, I think we're going to hurry. Guys, guys, we need to run. There's something. We need to run. Yeah, the, run. Chickens are, the chickens are clucking like crazy. Uh-uh. The chickens are bait. Felix, let's grab the zonkeys and go. <laughs> yeah, I'm running. Let's go. Everybody roll a straight up D20 to make sure you don't trip at some point in time. 14. Six. 16. Eight, uh, Frankie, Felix yeah. and Copious kind of bang into each other, but quickly gather themselves. Everybody hauls ass towards the mounts that are uh, uh, extremely concerned. The scent of sulfur seems to be wafting its way towards you as if following you. Uh, but you reach your mounts, be it Battle Chicken or Zonky, successfully. Do you want to? Haul ass out of this chasm. Yes, I can hear the beast coming from your room. Tied up out of this chasm. I remember how bad it was coming down. I lost like a third of my hit points just coming down into this chasm. Okay, we'll take. We'll be careful. Battle chickens. Alley ball. There is still silence, so you don't hear the shale yet, uh, and that seems like a good place to stop for the night. So, Jason, what'd you think? We'll wrap it up, hon. I think this was the closest to death Copious has ever come to, and that's saying something. Uh, but that uh, there's a lot of mystery still here that needs uncovering. I need Robert to do some identification of some items here. I think this mystery needs covered up uh, like Project Blue Book. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, uh, middle Frank, what'd you think? I had a blast. I liked it. I always, I, I do, I do have to say, I do like the uh, new uh, Wild Magic. That was interesting and screwed, <laughs> screwed a lot. <laughs> I, I think I'll shift back and forth because I like both of them. Just mixed up. You never know which one you want to go. Maybe you just roll die six to see which one you're going from. That's true. Uh, AJ. It was fun. I thought for sure we were going to have a total party kill today, though. <laughs> I, I was at single digit hit points and – had I skinned my knee, if we hadn't taken a long rest, I probably would have died. <laughs> it's, it builds character. It, okay, that's one way to put it, yes. Little Frank. Uh, I thought it was great. I thought I did pretty well. Myself, go me. Um, <laughs> team performed well. Worked together <laughs> <laughs> as a team. I think we did quite well, yes. Wow, Newt Rockney's got nothing on you. <laughs> uh, Frank Sr. I, I, I was, I'm glad we got out of there in one piece or pieces. That's kind of a surprise. Well, I, you know, I, I think we'll have to have uh, Haggis roll to see if he actually made it. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Because his, his, his abilities uh, in today's combat was uh, less than stunning. But uh, folks, uh, th these guys survived. Now they just got to get back. I mean, easy peasy. They got like four and a half days. Four days. Four days. Hey, nothing, man. Nothing. This is easy. This thing is over. It is in the books. Mark it. <laughs> Vegas lost the odds on this one. And nothing, nothing could go wrong. Oh, no. Not with Frank out. running it. Folks, uh, follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, uh, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot shit about D&D, &D, join our Discord. If you want to buy some of our cool stuff, uh, the link is down there. Most importantly, if you want to be on the talk show on Tuesdays or the one shot next Saturday, at Hobo Inc., Twitter, or Gmail, hit us up. Let us know. We will get you on there if we can. Uh, thank you, Pirate Dog Dice, for almost ruining these guys' uh, campaign. Uh, and uh, I wish I had sulfur uh, from Adventure Sense, but I do not. Uh, but I do think they make something close to it uh, called Dragon's Death or Bane of Demons or something like that. We'll find out next time. Uh, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., thank you for joining us. Uh, we will see you on Tuesday for the talk show. Dating game, kiss and wave, everybody. Mwah! Later, folks.